How do you guys? Um, it's Wednesday car boot time. Yeah. <laughs> Bit of rain in the air though, but boot looks pretty big, so let's go. Right, that was Wednesday boating. It was only a small boat this week, um, but still managed to pick up some some stuff to make some money on. Um, so yeah, without uh, messing around, I'll just quickly show you what I picked up. I picked up a Sharp the Collector's Edition DVD box set. That's all the episodes of Sharp for 15 disc uh, box set. I did pay a fiver for it without researching. It's worth a tenner. So after fees and postage, I'll get my money back, and that's all. So that was a bit of a bit of a fail. But anyway, I also got uh, I'll get that. Wii controller, a black one. Um, I don't know if it works, but it is, it is in very good condition. Um, I paid three pounds for that, knowing that the worst case scenario is I will trade that into CEX for seven pounds. So, worst case scenario, I've made four pound profit. Um, so yeah, there's that. Um, I got a bus. That's a railway bus. Um, but that is for me, probably. That will go on my transit. I got this Sylvanian family's Meadowcroft cottage set here. It's complete except for the man. Mr. Meadows the farmer. He's missing. Um, but there was a cat family. Additional including it. I haven't I haven't researched these. Are they cats or are they squ they're squirrels, are they? I think they're cats. There's a, this family, so there's two kids, two adults, and that was included in the box, so um, I don't know, I mean, they might fetch a tenner that set, you never know with Sylvanian families. The cottage itself, I paid £15 for all of it. Complete it sells for 65 So with that guy missing, I say around 40 to 50 So it's still a decent profit on 15 And that's all of the furniture and everything, so that's all included in it. I got a bit of a punt, so they say. I picked up a guy was selling off, it wasn't a guy, it was a lady, loads of baseball caps. They're all like NBA, so that's a magic. There's a Denver Nuggets, Michigan, don't know what their name is, Michigan, doesn't say who they are, NCAA Collegiate Licensed Product. So that's probably a college football team, Michigan. A couple more magic ones. There's a Miami Hurricanes. And numerous other ones. Um, Seattle Sonics, Phoenix Suns. And these were all a pound each. They're all like of the official NBA. They've all got labels on. You can see the prices, 12.99 that one was. They were all a pound each, but I think I got about 26 for £23. Um, 
bit small for me. Um, but yeah, uh, reasonable profit. I should be able to sell them at least for a fiver each plus the postage. Um, so yeah, hopefully do alright on that job. Like if not, I'll just sell them at a car boot. Um, two quid each, double my money. So yeah, but pleased with them. They're pretty cool. I do like, uh, I do like baseball caps, especially uh, American football. There's also a couple of Elise flat caps. Now that's more like me, isn't it? Hey, quite like that. And that one was twelve ninety nine as well, originally. So you still got the tags on, just like the others. So yeah, we'll see how we get on with them. And then last but not least, my biggest purchase of the day was, can't lift it because my shoulder out, this Parrot AR Drone 2.0 Elite Edition. And this is a big uh, drone that you can control via your iPhone or iPad or Android I think as well. And there is a little bit of damage to the uh, casing, the like the in when you're using it inside. There's like a protective casing that goes around it. There's a bit of damage to that. Oh, there's Charlie Man just here jumping in. Hello, Charlie. Um, let's say a little bit of damage to that, but I paid 40 for it. Um, I think I could sell it for around 80, maybe more. If it doesn't sell, I'll keep that because I love drones. I've got a couple of small drones myself. But this one's brilliant, it's a quality, quality drone, about 180 quid new. Um, yeah, so uh, that was my big purchase, so I say not much, but uh, enough to uh, to keep me going. Um, next up will be Sunday booting, although there is some showers forecast possibly on Sunday, which is not ideal. Um, but we'll see what goes. Um, anyway, thanks for watching, I uh, hope you like uh, the video. Um, please subscribe if you haven't. Um, see you later.